Look at the mama, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Hey. Catch me in the whip, riding with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Okay, so here's the deal. Y'all already seen what we about to make, so we about to do this together. Go ahead and measure out four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. Then you're going to cut straight across. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it to the side. So here we have the bottom of the sweatsuit, right? So it's just a wet shirt. What you wanna do is grab it and fold it. Make sure that the seams are on top of each other. So you wanna take a pair of shorts that you like to fit up. Fold it to the front. This gonna be your front, okay? See, I, um, I made me a pattern because I like the way these fit, okay? It's just a little bigger. I just need to make it a little smaller right here. So I'm gonna use my pattern. But y'all go ahead and use a pair of shorts that you like. What you're gonna do is lay it out. Lay it out like this. Line up the side seam to the, the seam that's right here. Like line it up, okay? Line it up. And then you're gonna mark all the way. You're gonna come all the way to the end. Don't cut any extra off of the side at the top. And then you're gonna take it, you're gonna flip it. Do the same thing for the back on the other side. Line it up, seam, trace it and then cut it out. Y'all gonna see me do it with my tracing paper right now. Ooh. So what you gonna do next because the sides are still connected. Just cut that open. Okay. And do the same for the other side. Take one, one of them. One of them, you take one of them, fold it. And then you're gonna sew, sew this, and do the same for this one. Sew it, sew it. Okay, so here we have our two legs. We have our two legs, right? To you want the um the back, the back part to be facing the bottom, on the bottom, all right. So the top, this is my top. You wanna match the seams in the middle. Pin them. And then just continue to pin that middle seam together. This is how it's going to look. You can already start to see like the the shape of the shorts. 
you're going to sew along that middle crotch, all right? You're gonna sew. For the waistline, we're gonna use ribbing. So what ribbing is, is basically this. So for the waistline, what I did was I, I measured all the way around my waist. I measured all the way around my waist like this. And then to get that nice and tight, I subtracted nine subtracted nine from the waist line of this from the waistband of this subtract nine from that and then um, that's how long you cut it out that's how long it is so for the width I did a um, the two inch you're gonna have two of them you're gonna fold it over I already cut these out if you don't understand how I'm cutting this I'm going to show you guys how I cut the neckline of the shirt so just keep watching and thank you you'll see then you just want to iron it make it nice crisp fold you know boom you're done you might as well iron the other one too to get ready you take it like this Put that together. Like that, and then sew it. All right, boom. Fold it like that. Can y'all see? Lay down flat. And then mark right in the middle. But when you make the mark, make sure you make it on the side that you're going to be sewing so you won't see it like on the actual like finished product. Okay, so and then after you mark that side, just go ahead and mark the other sides. Mark the other sides. This is the front. This is the front. This is the front. You flip it like this the shorts go inside of it and then you take the mark for the front and line it up with the front seam then you take the mark you made for the side you take it so then you're just gonna pin all of that up and once you're done pinning, just go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and sew that all the, right, all the way around and make sure you leave an opening in the back because you are gonna thread some elastic through that, okay? And you'll see right now. Take the pin off. Go ahead and zigzag stitch that elastic close and then you're going to take the opening that you left open and sew that closed. So do the shorts. Okay, now for the top, you're just gonna do the same thing you did for the shorts. You just take the ribbing that you made and you sew it on the ends. And then after you sew it, you wanna go ahead and mark the four sides, the front, the back, and the sides on the shirt and on the ribbing. And then you wanna go ahead and pin all of that all the way around. And then once you finish pinning, you just go ahead and take that to the sewing machine. And then you're gonna sew that around too, as we did with the shorts. It's pretty much the same exact thing. Now, so for the shirt, what I'm going to do is fold it in half. Now for the neckline, you want to measure it out. Put out two inches and then you're just gonna mark it where you're going to cut. Here's our new neckline. Measure the neckline all the way around. So you're cutting two and a quarter all the way to 16 
since it's on the fold, you, you only need to, um, you divide your neckline into half and then cut that amount. So we're cutting to 16. Did you guys see that B we made in the front? So to secure the V, we're just going to take some usable interfacing. Like a small piece. And then just fuse that right. So now we're gonna go to the sewing machine. We're going to sew a V right here. A V on the stitch line. What you're going to do is fold it this way. Fold it like that, so it's like that, a V. Just so it stays in place before we put the neckline on, okay? I'm about to show y'all right now. <laughs> Then once again you're going to pin it all the way around the neckline and then you're going to sew the ribbing to the shirt and then you're done that's it let me know how y'all feel about this two piece i made y'all liking it as much as i do or nah let me know down below in the comments make sure you like comment and subscribe so you can see my next videos coming out for y'all all right i'll see y'all in my next one I know you got another trying to play the part. Just cause he got a heart don't mean he got